Hi, and welcome back to our kitchen. Our guest today is Deborah Wild, actress Deborah Wild. Hello, Hello Deborah, Hi. how are you? I'm very All well, good. how are you? I'm fine, I'm yeah. fine, I'm fine. Uh, we've been um, preparing this um, uh, show for, I think, it's a, this is I think the ninth episode or something. So we're going to cook today the Torta Pasqualina. Torta Pasqualina. Torta Pasqualina. It's a traditional Great. Easter pie. It's a Love salty it. pie. We pre prepare it with spinach and ricotta cheese. And we're going to do it from scratch. You're going to do it from no, scratch. No, no. <laughs> we're we're going to do it from scratch. <laughs> okay. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Uh, Deborah, uh, before we start, I will um, sort of give uh, a quick instruction on how to do the dough. Okay. So oh. we've got flour, yep. butter, and water. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. And whilst we prepare the dough, uh, we're going to ask you to tell us uh, about your roles and your current sure. uh, current roles and current uh, projects. So, um, what you've been up to recently, I guess, <laughs> over the last over the last over the last four years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, um, I was in a you know a game you probably don't know at Baldur's Gate Three. Okay. Yeah, um, so I was in that for four years. All right. Um, I was also in Cyberpunk. And cyberpunk, and cyberpunk okay. yes, which okay. I think I saw. Oh, it's right now. Look, what perfect timing. Perfect. Hey, That's great. there we go. There she is. Okay. Um, also, Total Warhammer 3. Okay. I played the Tsarina. And uh, a, a whole host of other games over the last four years. Four years, yes. okay. Um, but I also do traditional TV and film acting as well. So I was in a TV show called Pandora, uh, like a sci-fi show. I was in a show called Hollyoaks. So a lot of, lot of things. All right. A lot right. of things. How do you get into games? It's a good question. Okay. I really had to even like think about it. How do you get into it? Um, well, a bit, a bit by chance and a bit like, how should I say it? Like uh, just a bit targeted and a bit by chance. Okay. So well, I'll talk about my journey because that's really all I can talk about, to be honest. Um, I had been an actor for six years. Okay. And I had always heard people tell, tell me, oh, you have a really nice voice. And I'd be like, it's such a weird thing to say to someone. To, like, to, you know, when they're not singing or when okay. they're not doing okay. Okay. something yeah. that they're actually using their voice. So you'd be just talking. And and they were like, you should really like, be on the radio or okay. presenting or something like, like that. Like VO stuff. Yeah. Okay. And I was like, you know what? I've done traditional acting for six years. Let's let's try and do. Let's okay. see what what voice is about. Because I didn't know a lot about it. We covered it a bit in drama school. Um, I had like a little voice reel already. Okay. And uh, and so I sent that off to a few agents. Didn't hear anything back, which is which is pretty normal. You know, I'm used I'm used to the rejection. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, yay. <laughs> That's going yay. well. <laughs> this is going well, but I gotta keep going. Yes, yeah, you're right. That didn't that doesn't make a, a lot of sense. But I, I think maybe I was just expecting it, okay, you know? Okay, okay. And I didn't I didn't put too much into it. I was like, I'm I'm gonna try it. If it works out, great. If it if it doesn't work out then that's fine, okay. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So so yeah, and then the second uh, audition I ever did was for Baldur's Gate 3, which was voice and motion capture. Um, and I literally just did that in my living room, like shot it on my phone. And, uh, and here we are four years later, which is, wow. which is quite crazy. Yeah. It's quite crazy. And how do you do a voice sample? Like, is it, are, you record yourself and that's it? Do you read some lines from a script or? Yeah, so they, they'll usually send you um, some lines of your character, but more often than not, you won't know the game. So all the games are coded okay. uh, and you won't know. So I didn't know I was auditioning for Baldur's Gate 3, which actually I, I think is a really good idea. Because okay. I think if you, I mean, I don't have a, an expansive knowledge of games, but if I knew I was auditioning for a huge game, I think I'd put a lot of pressure on myself and I'd okay. be like nervous, more nervous to do like a better job. Um, so mo most of the time, I don't know what I'm auditioning for. I get some of a character bio and some lines, and then I will just record it at home, uh, either on like a microphone that I bought, like a professional mic, or sometimes just even on my iPhone. Okay. Which works, go under a blanket to dampen the sound and it, it just really works. Okay, okay. So, yeah. And then if you have to do an audition for motion capture, which sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, Again, I just shoot it on my phone. You know, uh, you could just show obviously how how you would move as the character. Okay. Okay. So it's fairly um, simple, I suppose. It's not unlike a, an audition for film and TV, but obviously uh, people aren't looking at your face okay. necessarily; okay. they're listening yeah, yeah. to your voice, which okay. which takes up. Some I guess that uh, uh, I don't know if that's true or not. Is uh, well, 
watched a lot, lot of movies, but probably less pressure when you do, and you can do more takes when you do it at home, and it's so like, I'm yeah. gonna do this very, very well, and I'm gonna for try sure. my best, whilst if you do it for film, it's like, you got your five minutes or whatever, and it's, it's over? Yeah, it? well, a lot of uh, auditions now are still self-tapes. Uh, okay. After the pandemic, obviously, you know, things, uh, during the pandemic, everything was, was online, self-taping from home, and now that's kind of bled into, into where we are today. Okay. So even if you're auditioning for film and TV, you're still probably doing it at home. Oh, right, okay. But it does take the pressure off completely. I, I think it's, uh, well, there's pros and there's cons, right? Okay. It takes the pressure off, but then sometimes you get stuck into this thing of like, I'm gonna do a hundred takes. And, okay. and that's not, that's like a bit detrimental because I think you, you get your first, you, it's your first take is probably a good one. Then maybe the third one and you're done. By, by take a hundred and trust me, I have done things. Okay. I have done like up to, maybe not a hundred takes, but I've certainly done 30. By the 30th one, you sound the same. You've learned it in a certain pattern. So it, it's really exactly the okay. same, but you're okay. looking at, if this is for film and TV, you're looking at yourself and you're like, okay, that eyebrow is like, that's oh. not right. No, no, okay. no, no, no. Okay. This is okay. like, okay. oh no, my ear is sticking you out a bit picking, yeah. And you're just like, this is, this is point, like, it's pointless. pointless. Yeah, yeah. So I try, for voice I'm a lot better. I will just do maybe three takes and I'll pick the best one and I'll send that's it and I'll, I'll okay. be done. But for film and TV, I can be very, I can be very nitpicky. Very nitpicky, <laughs> yeah. Right. Dory's ready. I didn't even notice yeah, you did that. You <laughs> We've got it. Uh, You're a pro. So, uh, we're gonna put it here like half an hour in the fridge. Okay. Uh, and whilst we do uh, all the rest, so Great. we can we have it ready for later. Great. So the dough yeah. is um, um, keeping fresh in the fridge. So we'll start doing the um, the spinach. Let's. Can I ask you to the, the onion, please? You can. I think we'll do half of half this. The I onion. guess. How would you, how? <laughs> Just. Uh, dice. Fine. Dice. Finally yeah. Dice. You, you can do that. You can do that. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So they were like this uh, Baldur's Gate thing, uh, <laughs> which is which is, you know, going has been going on for four years. Yes. Right. So, what's the current? You know, how how involved are you now? Because when you start, it's just like, just a job, right? It's yeah. a thing. Uh, now you get you're getting to a point where you know you're very much you know, a part, an integral part of it. Yeah. So how did it, did it evolve in, uh, in, in, uh, in your, you know, um, working life and, and all that kind of stuff, you know, after four years? Uh, well, I suppose I am a bigger part of it now because there's been such a big reaction to the game. Uh, I think with a lot of games, Oh, well, it, this was the longest project I've ever been on. To okay. Let's start there, okay. you know. Uh, it, I've never been on a, obviously films and never take four years anyway. Um, I've never been on a TV show that's been four years. So, so you know, four years is, is a significant chunk of time and you get to really know and really love your character. So, yeah, I suppose at the beginning when we started, uh, also we didn't really know how long it would go on for. I think, first of all, uh, we knew that it was early access, okay. but we didn't know if it was going to go beyond that. Okay. So I think initially we were signed up for, or I was signed up for a two-year project, okay. which is still pretty significant. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was it was very sort of stop and start and and things like that. So uh, I guess wait, how am I cutting this like that or like that? Just just any way I like. Just exactly. You know what? That's just how we take do it the here. initiative here. That's good. That's good. Um, and. Yeah, so I had a very small bio about this character. And uh, so I kind of went in, I obviously did my audition, they'd seen the audition, they'd liked it. Um, and I was very free to, to kind of do whatever I liked okay. and shape the character okay. how I liked. Obviously we had directors helping us um, and the writers, which was just, I mean, I couldn't have done it without the writers of this game and shout out Kevin Van Ord, who was the lead writer for Les Elles. Okay. I mean, you, as you know, you can't have great acting without great writing. So I was just very lucky, and everyone's very lucky on Baldur's Gate to have such um, such incredible writing to work with. And from then on, it was just a really good time. Okay. It was just a really good time. And you, yeah, like I said, you fall in love with your character and you, you slip into it all too easily okay. at some point. So, yeah, I don't know if that answered your question. I no, it does. Almost it does. The I question, think, but I think, I you know, think that, you know, you get attached to your character in a way. Yeah, you do. Okay. Yeah, you really do, especially after after four years, and then 
you kind of feel sad that it's over. Okay. Yeah. But it's not over then. It's uh, it's. Uh, well, it's it... over for now. It's we don't for now. we don't yeah. know what's next. What's next? I, okay. Yeah, okay. I I have no idea. Um, I mean, I couldn't say even if I knew, but I actually genuinely have no okay. idea. Okay. Uh, I would love to to play this character again and to continue the story or or maybe even a prequel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You're starting to be creative now. I am. I'm so creative. This great. this onion's a mess. I'm uh, not no, gonna lie great. to you. No, no, it's very good. It's, it's a mess, good. but we're not gonna use it all anyway. So. Oh, you're not. No, no. Oh, okay. Just half of it is fine. The um. So the, the, the character. Do you do you actually now? Because uh, you know you're on Twitch now. You play yes. the game and so on. Do you actually see reactions about your character and what's your you oh, know, yeah. the relationship so with the players? <laughs> yeah, well, so from what I understand, a lot of people didn't like Lazelle at first. Okay. Which makes me sad. Okay. You know, they're like, oh, she's judgmental, she's very harsh. But she's like that for a reason. Okay. Look, look what she's had done to her. Look at this guy. Come on. Yeah. Would I mean, you not be scared and no, judgmental? I know, I know, I know. That's what I keep, that. keep saying to my kids. You know, yeah. you don't. You're not, you're not a bad guy, something happened in your life. Exactly, right? exactly. Everyone has their motivations for acting of the way course. that they do. So, and uh, and so I kind of sort of started as a joke doing like TikToks and, and things like that. I don't know if this is... That's good. Is That's this good. good for you? Yeah, it's perfect. Oh God. No, completely messes no, up. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. There yeah. we go, sizzling away. And I just started talking more about the character and like explaining and doing kind of fun things. And it's funny because at the beginning everyone was like, ha ha ha, it's, it's you know, quite funny. And then obviously people had the chance to play the game more. And they were like, you know what? I've really given Lazelle a chance. And she's actually, she has a real uh, character growth and a character development that I didn't expect. Okay. Um, I just think she's one of those characters that if you meet her at face value at the beginning of the game, you might be turned off by her. Okay. Fine. Um, but, you know, she's just a, a, a complicated female character and not everyone likes that. No, of so, course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but I, I really appreciate that people have given her a chance and people genuinely love her. So, that's that's been incredible for me. Sometimes in games, uh, you know, it's hard, we see it's hard to really bond with characters because, you know, they're not real people, right? So, yeah, of so, course. So, um, it's... And, and of course, you know, graphics are incredible now and yeah. they're, you know, real life like and so on. But it's not always that easy to sort of create that bond. No, it's not. I'm going to get not. more spinach. It's not. Don't worry, I'll, ta I'll be here. Don't I'll worry, be here yeah. giving it a little stir. It's good. It's good. <laughs> there we okay. go. There we go. Yeah, it's not easy, all right. And this is why I, you know, why I think Baldur's Gate and people are saying, you know, why... People are like, how is this game so incredible? How, you know, game of the year, it's so good. And the reason why it's so good is because all of the elements just came together. The the writing, the production design of it, the, the, the values of it, the character creation, the acting is a very small part of it. I mean, I think we get a lot of the attention because we've talked about it a lot online and we're very vocal about it. And actors do get a lot of the attention because they're the actors. However, we couldn't have done it without the whole team. Okay. Uh, yeah. And I think that's so important. And and Larry and are just awesome. And I think they took a big sort of risk with it. And they did things that other studios maybe don't necessarily do. And they were very supportive of us actually just being vocal about the game. Again, that's not something you see very often. So we, you know, we've yeah, we've been silly with the characters. We've done silly things online, memes, whatever. And it's it's all been really good and they've got a great sense of humor about that so in terms of quality i mean you've you've you've, you've done films so yeah. do you do you think games are you know up there in terms of you know quality of production values and so on with you know with the movie industry now some games i think we're definitely getting there okay. uh i would say boulders gate 3 is definitely uh for me uh, as as good if not miles better than than any film okay. or tv show okay. i've done oh, wow. simply because it's uh the characters are so fleshed out so real you know what you're talking about bonding with a real character that's why i think so many people have connected uh, because they have felt like real characters that you go on this journey with and then when the journey ends you're like oh wow i actually had a real emotional connection to this character yeah um not all games are like that and i still think we have a long way to go but I can see real progress, even in the, I've only been doing games for four years, uh, which is not that significant amount of time, but even then I've seen, I've seen it progress. Even with Cyberpunk, you know, a small, I have like a, a, a small scene in that couple of scenes, but even that was such an emotionally charged um, character that is only present for a few minutes, 
But she has a whole story behind her and a whole yeah. life behind her. Yeah, it's well designed. It's well yeah. designed and she's not just yeah. like, oh, your stereotypical sort of action action lady that's there just to like shoot a few people. No, she's she's there, she's got an emotional connection to, to her brother and to all of these things going on. So I think that there is progress for sure. Do, do you think that um, it requires, I mean, you've now done two of the main, probably the two major RPGs that have been released in the last few years. So um, uh, do you think there's a learning curve in what you do um, and you're getting better at it or or is it like, job done, next, job done, next is more, is it? Or getting into the characters and all that kind of stuff? Because you don't see any of it, right? You, 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 yeah. just, you just do the voice. You do the voice. Yeah, you do the voice and in the case of Baldur's Gate 3, the, mo the motion capture yeah. as well. Um, but I think there is a learning curve. You know, you, I think at the beginning, uh, when I started, it was just a case of, okay, I think I know what this character would sound like and the emotions behind it. And I didn't, really understand too much about how I can use my voice. Okay. Pitch, um, tone. Can I ask you to um, do the um, ricotta cheese? Oh, what am I doing with um, it? Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. The whole thing? Just mix everything, yeah. yeah. So uh, <sighs> and now I have a better understand. Wait, how much salt? Just just a pinch. Just some. A pinch? Some, just a pinch. Okay. Just go for it. Yeah, right, just, I'm scared. Yeah. Yeah, so now I have a better understanding of this we'll is the, that's it. the wrong way round. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna start again. Okay. There we go. Right, it would help if I took the, the that, thing that, off, the wouldn't lead, it? Yeah, <laughs> you take off to take the lead off. You're yeah. gonna have a great blooper reel for no, this, if nothing okay. else. Wait a minute. Wait, there we go. Okay. That's good. A bit more salt and then we'll do yeah? it. Yeah? Okay. So now I have a better understanding of how to use my voice. Okay. Uh, because I think that is important for voice acting because you don't have necessarily, unless you're doing the motion capture, you don't necessarily have your body uh, and your body language to express all the emotions that you would have if you were doing a film and TV yeah. project. Uh, so I think there is a learning curve for sure. For How sure. is it to uh, act but only see what your end result is like years later? Yeah, it's a bit weird. Okay. <laughs> It's weird, it's unexpected. I, you Usually you get um, an image of what your character looks like probably before you do the voice, uh, which I think is very helpful because it does help to shape your idea of what the voice might sound like. Okay. But yeah, I think for Baldur's Gate, uh, we did, yeah, we must have done at least a year and a bit recording before I actually saw it in early access. Wow. Uh, before I saw the character, I mean, I'd seen the character, but before I saw her in the world. So that was, um, it, it was weird. It's weird, you know, because you're doing all of these recordings in um in a studio that's you know like a, a, a blank wall kind of thing. It's very plain. Yeah, yeah. And so you really have to use your imagination because, as you know, it's a fantasy game. So you've got dragons, you've got monsters, you've got all sorts of things. The environment is so rich and so beautiful, and you're having to imagine all that really and yeah. match your emotion to that. So. It's actually it's actually quite hard. Uh, I think you know people sometimes don't give it as much credit. Yeah, no, because I, I, I guess it is. Yeah, it's it's yeah, interesting to see that because uh, it's like oh, it's, people say it's just the voice. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's not just <laughs> no, the voice. I know, it's it's I know. so much more. It's so much more when you can't have your you know look at me now. I'm gesturing. I'm using my face. I'm looking at you. I'm moving around. Um, I can't do that when I'm doing a voice. And you're just, relying just on somebody else doing the face thing later. Exactly. And, yeah. and uh, Exactly. So it, it's actually, um, you know, when you're talking about a learning curve, it, it, it's a skill. It's a very specific skill. It's still acting, of course, but but it's a skill that you it's really have to learn. Acting in the dark. It's, uh, it's Acting in the dark. And I think a lot of people have mentioned how there are some big Hollywood stars that are fantastic screen actors and then they get them to do voice stuff and then it might not be as good, okay. maybe. Um, so, yeah. There was a, I don't know if it's done now anymore, but okay, can I add you, I I've to add an egg? I've done this very creamy. Uh, this is really good. good. You yeah. can add an egg now inside. Great. Um, yeah. Okay. I mean, you're actually cooking. I mean, we uh, we this had- This is really uh, good. It's really good, yeah. yeah. I do have some eggshells in here, but don't worry, I have removed them. Is it not on? I thought we did. I know, I thought I said I said how to do Can you turn on the oven, please? I will turn on the oven, yes. Mark, of course. Yes, of course. 
180. Yeah, go yeah. for it. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. See when you chat and you forget things. You do. Yeah. When you're having a good That's time. A multitasking. Good. Well, this is done too. I think. This is really good. We're a good team. We're we're doing very well. Yeah. We're doing very well, except that we forgot to switch on to the oven. Put on the oven. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So um, we switched on the oven. There was. <laughs> <laughs> It's good call. It's really not important it's to switch on the all. oven. It's, it's just a not tiny at step. All. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So we need to finish this now. Okay. So what are we doing I'm now? I'm going to ask you to do this. So put everything in here, mm -hmm. and then we we'll put the spinach in, and We're mix it. we'll mix it with the parmesan cheese. Great. And in the meantime, I'm going to collect the wine bottle. Oh please! That, that's arguably the most important step. Yeah. More important than the oven. Uh, of course. For sure. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. For sure. And I'm going to open this. What is it we're having? We're having, all right, so uh, the thing here that uh, we do is we mix, this is a northern Italian dish, uh -huh. so we put a uh, southern Italian wine. Ah. This is from Sicily, it's uh, called Sicily. Grecanico. Grecanico. Lovely. What do you think of my Italian? Um, uh, actually, one thing I was going <laughs> to ask, um, you said you're Bulgarian, right? I am. So, um, and you said I can I can do an Eastern European accent. I can. So how does it, how does it work? So you fake an accent of your own language? Is it is it? <laughs> and I because if I if you ask me to do what, an Italian you, la uh, yeah. accent, yeah, I can. Well, I know English. I can, but I cannot do an English accent. But, but you're speaking you, with an Italian accent right now. Yeah, but you're speaking English like you're English, right? Yeah. You, you don't you. I d well, it's because I grew up in the UK. Okay, okay. So I speak very, I have a very, very British accent. You do. Um, uh, and then what's so it? So for Eastern European, it just, it depends kind of, so if you want like a Russian, it'd be very hard, you okay. know, Russian okay. accent. Okay, okay, okay. This kind of like Nika in cyber. It's done it again! Look at this! I'm so it's perfect. It's perfect. I did it on purpose. <laughs> you did it on purpose. Um, but then, you know, sometimes you might want, am I just putting this straight in Yeah, here? go for it, yeah. yeah. Um, but. Uh, Bulgarian is maybe a little, you know, a little bit softer. Uh, it's not so hard, you know, like the Russian is quite hard. Or, um, okay, 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 so okay, it's, okay, it's okay. different, but it, yeah. So yeah, I suppose I do, I do fake my own accent because I don't have that accent. Is that is it part of your CV? Is it like so? Devra can can, can do Eastern do, European. Yes, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I can also do American. So I've had a few like American. Roles that I've had to do in games. Wow, okay, um, okay, okay. Yeah, accents are, are, are a big part of it. A big part of it. Because um, sometimes in games you are playing uh, different characters yeah. in the same game. So you ah, have to okay, differentiate okay, okay, them, okay, okay. right? Uh, so that happens a lot. God, this smells so good. Now you can put the um, parmesan. Mix it with parmesan cheese. All of it? And, um, no, just. just a third or so. It's a so. good job I asked, isn't it? Yeah. A third. Yeah, it's a good, <laughs> it's a good job. job I asked because yeah. I'm just going to dump it yeah, all yeah, in. Yeah. A third. You never know. You can just. I, did about I never I never weigh anything when I cook. Oh, so no. I'm, one of those. I'm, are not, you? I'm not. I'm just. Mm. Well, except if I do a, like a like a pie and then the dough, you have to weigh stuff. Otherwise right. It's a, I always weigh stuff. Okay. I'm one of, I have to be like very precise about my recipes because whenever I try and go off piste and I try and be creative. Ugh, Something goes wrong. It doesn't work. It doesn't so we'll have to do this without a rolling pin. So that's going to be funny. <laughs> I trust you, though. I'm yeah, fine. I think gonna you're going to be good. It's all going to be fine. You could have used your wine bottle, but you haven't I opened it. Not yet, actually. Yeah, I've done yeah. that before. You can. Can we do this on camera? Do you think it's? <gasps> oh. Oh. I have some. <laughs> yeah, you have. Some. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I felt that. Like I said, this is going to be a great blooper reel. There we go. That's good. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right. Using using a bottle as a rolling pin is that is yeah, that we can okay? Do that. Can, I mean, well, is are it? We gonna, are we gonna, can we do this? What? Can we use a bottle as a rolling pin? Yes. Yeah. Okay. But thank I, you, Ainsa. But I think you have to. Okay. No, that's good. All right. I was gonna say you could wrap it because then that might come. No, but actually, you're doing, no, you're doing very well. You're doing very well. Fine. See. There we go. It's, yeah. See. I don't think this show is actually gonna. <laughs> teach anyone to cook <laughs> properly, but <laughs> that wasn't a purpose. We're doing anyway. our best. Oh, yeah, I we're mean, doing we're our doing best. very good. Yeah. It's good. 
good. It's probably actually, take, it's actually working very well. It's probably going to take about half a, a day to do this, but. Uh, oh, it's, it's good. It's looking good. How thick does this dough have to be? Is I it just know. going on the bottom? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, just got on the bottom and uh, on uh, on the side of it. So. Okay, I picked a very complex recipe, but I I, no, I no, think no. it's good. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's just yeah. uh, it's just that um, when you cook, you need some tools, right? You do. Um. <laughs> you do. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> <laughs> love that. When you cook, you need some tools. <laughs> yes, yes, you do. And then the bottle would be very sexy with all Ve the flour on it. Very, very. It's all working out. It's all working out. And you've learnt a hack from me today as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, you, um, you, you, you say you just said you, you, you can't really say you know what you're up next. I can't. Um, are you still willing to sort of mix your career between games and movies? Are you? you what's Completely. your? Completely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I uh, I don't really see them. I know we've talked about the differences a lot, but I don't really see it uh, as that separate. It's acting is acting at the end of the day. Yeah. You're still uh, doing the same preparation, approaching the character in much the same way, um, thinking about the character's motivations or all of those things. It's just because it's a, a voice project doesn't mean you do less work for it. Yeah. So, yeah, I like working across all mediums, uh, film, TV, theatre, voice, motion capture, whatever it might be. So, yeah, definitely. I want to do everything. Because yeah. it's fun. It's fun it to do different fun. things, I think. And, um, you know, having spent four years now on a, on a video game and other games doing them meanwhile, it would be, it would be great to, to do other stuff. But actually, I've what I've realised is somebody that had very little knowledge of, of gaming is how much I actually really love video games. It is actually an interesting thing because um, we, we were um, uh, we were saying before, I think the quality in general of games is going up dramatically. Absolutely. And you start having this kind of production values that are really, um, you know, making it more professional and uh, I, I remember, you know, when we started doing, you know, voice acting, you know, for games and such, it was very much like, you know, what do we do now? Yeah. You know, you know, what is the right process? Yeah. And there is no process. No. There was, there's no process at all. Uh, and now it's getting a bit diff a bit better, but um, it really depends on the studio now. It does. It does. But I think you're right. People have a have more respect for video games. And as they should, because as, we, as we've discussed, it's not an easy thing to to create these characters, voice these characters, not to mention all of this stuff that goes into then actually designing the game. I mean, I don't know anything about that, <laughs> but that's to me seems like really difficult because I have no knowledge of it. So um, it, it is, and it's a it's a still a relatively new medium, which is why it's so exciting actually as an actor to be involved in something like that. And people still don't know much about motion capture and how does that work how do you record that how does you know how technical it is and so i think as an actor to be involved in that and and to show people through projects like Baldur's gate 3 that actually the storytelling can be just as immersive and and brilliant and entertaining as any tv show yeah maybe even more so because you're in it right you're in the game as the character is is really quite Amazing. It is. Uh, I mean, we talked a, bit, a little bit about the process. Can you tell us a bit more about it? You know, how uh, it actually works. So, so, who is involved in the different stages? You know, is there, there's a screenwriter mm. or there's a writer, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and is it, is the writer dictating the character? Is it, this, is there a story guy? Is there, you know, how, how does that work? Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, lots about this uh, as far as you know my my kind of knowledge from the acting side is uh, they they've obviously created by the time we come in as actors obviously a lot of the work has been done already the story has been created the characters have been created um, I don't know if they storyboard it they probably do and have all the um, uh, the dialogue trees and the branch okay. options and all of this stuff and then uh, for, for Baldur's Gate 3 specifically uh, every character had a team of a lead writer and then a team of writers okay. that were responsible because obviously we've done hundreds and hundreds of hours uh, and different endings and things like that so uh, 
yeah, so then we do our audition, uh, hopefully get cast, get the job. And then when you go in, it's uh, you are in the studio and then behind the glass, there is a, a team. So you have a director who is listening to your performance. You have a performance director who is uh, watching your movement. So this is if you're doing motion capture. You have an audio engineer and you have a motion, cap en uh, motion capture engineer. So okay. they're all working together to to, you know, we're all working to, the, to create this performance, essentially. Um, and, yeah, and, and as far as the writing goes... Uh, so I'm interrupting you. Yeah, no, what I've on. done is, whilst you were um, explaining this, I've created two, three holes. I love it. And uh, we've done the eggs inside. Okay. Um, I'll ask you to sprinkle a bit, a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top, and then we can put it in the oven. A little bit. Just, just... just just, yeah, I'm just, yeah. you know what, I'm getting, oh. Oh, that's, Ooh. that's very Italian. That's <laughs> how you do it. It's like, abbondare. What does that mean? That you have to be, you know, putting a lot of it in. Abbondare. You know, abbondare. Abbondare. Yeah, abbondare. Love it. Very good job on the, um, on the pastry. Thank you. See, my little hack worked. It did, it did. It's a bit thick, but I hope it does Oh, work. I think, is it gonna fluff up? No. No, no it's, it's gonna, gonna stay like that. It's gonna be fine. Okay, great. Ta-da. I think whilst uh, we wait, we can uh, finally open this oh, bottle, finally, right? finally, yeah. I thought you'd never, thought you'd never get to it, to be honest. <laughs> no, 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 no. So, as you were saying, uh, in terms of the writing itself? So, the writing. Okay. So, yes, I explained the structure of the writers. And then, uh, I never had direct contact with the writers. Okay. But what tended to happen was they, I think I mentioned this at the beginning, I, I came in with a very, uh, you know, a small bio about the character and then I sort of made my choices and okay. you know we, we went from there but then what would happen is i think the writers would would watch what we'd done and then they would say okay for example lazelle she's a okay she's coming along, uh, across as a little bit more sarcastic or a bit more dry and then and then they would put more of that in okay so it it was collaborative but we never had that direct conversation they would just sort of watch us okay. and then they'd put okay. a bit more in there and, okay. that, and so that was really nice because it didn't feel like okay, it's so rigid and you have to do this and there's no no scope okay, for playing okay. around with it. It was very open. Okay. And that for an actor is because just incredible. There's no such thing as a director, right? So it's more like... Well, no, we did have a director, but they were more uh, for us, you know, okay. for the... For the okay, sort of for technical... The performance. Well, okay. for, the, for, the, for the voice. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I wouldn't call so it um, te technical necessarily. It was... Uh, one director was listening to the voice. One director was watching the movements, okay. and then they would give me notes on the different okay. those different okay. parts of the performance, okay. uh, which obviously was massively uh, helpful and needed. You know, because that's how you shape a performance. It's, you know, like I, I said it before, I'll say it again. It's not just about us. Yeah. I can't come yeah, yeah. here and take the credit for Lazelle because Lazelle is not just me. She is a, <laughs> a product of all of these different people that work together and came together. So, um, yeah. Hey. Good. Yes. See? We don't even need to eat now. No, we don't. I think just leave that for later. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we'll have to uh, let this cook for about half an hour. Okay. And um, we're going to wait enough time whilst to drink drinking. The bottle. So we'll see in half an hour if we're already Great. drunk or not. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right, so we're back. We're, uh, we're um, going to uh, see if the result of our <laughs> <laughs> of our work, <laughs> of our work in uh, um, trying to manage conversation and cooking is done, uh, is, is gone well. I trust so you. I trust see you. See how it goes. I think the fact that we use the bottle as a rolling pin will have just... I think it, it will That add, would have been the yeah. secret key yeah. to making this yeah. incredible. And I will do this all the time from now oh, wow, on. Wow, look at that. It does look good. It does. It smells good. Okay. Okay. Well, it does look good. Do we want to... Do we want to just not risk it and keep it like this? Yeah, maybe. No, I would love <laughs> to try it. Come on. Your pastry that you just made casually, just, just in five minutes. Yeah. Look at that. I did. Uh, Very good. Okay. See. okay, I can see the bottom, so it didn't stick no, to the bottom. No, it didn't. So it should be fine. But you didn't use the baking paper. No, I didn't. I mean, you were you told to. <laughs> you, are you... <laughs> You're trying to create a case here. I am. Um, okay, let's try and see. If no, this I think works. it's it's looking really good. Baking paper or no? Ooh. There we go. Okay. It's 
it's not like a Michelin star restaurant serving plate. No, but, but uh, that's, it's fine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and cut another one mm -hmm. in better shape. Please do. And see if uh, we can do a... Um... Okay, let's try. Piece of egg there, look. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, you have to get a shot of this. Yeah. This no, is you have to. The gooey eggs. <laughs> oh, my. This perfection right there. Mm. That's not even... That, that wasn't intentional, was it? It was. Of course it was. I mean, yes. Of course. Yeah, of course it was. Um, Look at that! Very much like the characters in Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We didn't do much better, but uh, no. At least but we've that got egg two, is stunning. We've got two portions here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And here you go. So who tastes first? I think it should be you. I'll do. As the master chef. <laughs> go okay. on. Okay. Of course, the master chef will always. Is it the master chef always finds something wrong with it, or is it more like I really like it? I did a very good job. Yeah, probably just hype yourself. Okay, yeah. I will hype it myself. It looks good. Then. It okay. looks good. I'll t I'll take on sous chef okay. for this thing. I only cut the onion, but it's an important job. Yeah. It's good. Good. I think what makes it very good is the amount of salt in the onions. Oh yes. Yeah, and the and amount that. of salt in the ricotta. Oh yeah. I think was, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Very good job. Great. It's your turn now. Oh, it's my turn. Okay. You want a fork? Can't wait. Well, I mean, I could eat, use my hand. <laughs> <No. laughs> All right. Here goes. Okay. Maybe not. I want to get all the bits. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <sighs> not so elegant. That's fine. Okay. This is thrilling. It's a thumbs up from me. Good stuff. Mm. Good stuff. Really good. Uh, Deborah, thanks for joining us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure for having, having me. You. Um, we sort of, I like it that you bring this behind the scenes look and how things work, mm -hmm. which is always, you know, what we try to convey. Yeah. Uh, so, um, and uh, the show is to uh, make to meet, you know, nice and pe nice people and to enrich our knowledge about stuff. So. Great. You were a great guest. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for having me. Well, uh, we've got to. Che the wine. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.